So you've decided to use object storage. Great, it's going to help all of your storage needs. But object storage does present a, a little bit of a problem. You see, object storage is based on APIs, and APIs aren't really meant for humans or users. Uh, IP, APIs are something that machines are really good at. And so how are you going to get your users to interact with it? Users like CLIs, GUIs, things like that. You've just run into the last mile problem, and I'm here to help. All right, so what is object storage? Well, if we look at what object storage is, it's a new class of storage. Uh, you probably have in your enterprise block and file. And block is great for running things like databases, virtual machines, it's low latency. File, well, that's where you're keeping all of your files. And object storage is here to augment that. Object storage is great at storing unstructured data. What's unstructured data, you ask? Well, it's all of your documents, it's your photos, it's your videos, it's your spreadsheets, your presentations. In fact, almost all of your data, including backups, is actually unstructured data. And that's why object storage should matter to you. So why object storage? Well, because it's scale out storage. What's scale out storage? Scale out storage is the ability to add it as you need it. So when you start looking at clouds, it's a pay as you grow structure. And if you put object storage on premise, it's the ability to add node after node and have them be highly available, meaning that you can get data out of any of your nodes. Also highly durable. As data grows into the petabyte range, you want to make sure that you have a storage system that's able to keep your data and ensure that if you lose a node, a drive, maybe an entire rack, your data is all safe. But to be honest with you, the main reason that people pick object storage is because the economics of it. Let's look at the pricing. So if you look at the price of object storage, it's fallen over time. And whose pricing is this? Well, it's Amazon's. Amazon was the first one to really popularize S3 object storage. Now there's a lot of other types of object storage out there. They made it such a success that we have other major public clouds now doing the same thing. And of course, this has kicked off a price war that's really been driving the price down to, I mean, pennies per gigabyte per month for storing your data in the public cloud. Can't put your data in the public cloud? Well, I have good news for you. There's plenty of on-premise providers as well that you can put your data into that are going to give you an on-premise object storage option. So how do we bridge this gap? Well, this gap is what we call the last mile, and that's where Storage Made Easy comes in. We know that object storage is going to save you money, give you higher levels of availability and durability. And with Storage Made Easy, we have over 50 storage provider connectors that are going to allow you to use any cloud or any on-premise cloud system or other file-based storage. It's going to give them a single pane of glass. So your users probably have data stored in a corporate NAS today and you're looking to move or branch the cloud. We can help facilitate that movement to the cloud or we can unite that so that in a single interface, whether it be web, desktop, or mobile, they're able to see all of the data that's available to them. We give you corporate governance so that you can protect and lock down those files and the access to them. We integrate with LDAP, SAML, Active Directory to use the same tools that your users are used to to logging in today. We encrypt the data in case you have other levels of compliance. We're able to audit every single interaction so that you no longer have the problem of somebody asking why was my data altered or who did it in a certain group. We can version your data so that you can see, just like you do in some of the major clouds, how your data has changed over time. We can share links securely. So if you're emailing data out, instead of emailing the actual file, you can email a link, and that link can be password protected. It can have a time-based expiration or even a number of downloads for expiration. There's just so much more. If you're ready to take the next step, I invite you to download Storage Made Easy's Corporate Edition. You can run it free as a trial and test out all of our connectors to object storage, your local storage, and protect your corporate data. If you'd like to just try it at home, we have a personal edition as well. It's free for life. Download it. Give it a try. And of course, if you want more information before you make a decision, Storage Made Easy has partnered with leading object storage vendors, and we've recorded a number of webinars. I invite you to go watch any of them online or even see our video on our latest product, an S3 drive. It's a standalone product that allows you to just directly connect to your S3 storage, map it as a drive letter inside Windows, and start consuming it. And to keep up to date with everything Storage Made Easy, please remember to subscribe to our channel.